Welcome to uh, Camp Everbright. All of you ponies have gathered from the far reaches of Equestria to here near the Niagara Falls, just east, sorry, west of Philadelphia. And we have a long-standing tradition of when you meet new friends, you greet new friends. So if you could introduce your name and what makes you stand out. Let's start with, how about you, Dream Whisper? Oh, okay. So my name is Dream Whisper. And um, I really, really like water. I grew up in New Cantor. And um, uh, in a little house by the sea, and I was raised by my mom in a single pony household. Um, and I like anything to do with, my goal is to eventually become a muricorn, um, which is like a unicorn sea pony mix, which would be pretty cool. Um, I'm a little spacey sometimes, and sometimes I talk physics and different things. My cutie mark is a little tentacle, um, and I can locate water, even when there's no other signs pointing to it, I can locate water at well. And since I'm a unicorn, I can also, I have a little telekinesis, so I can move objects without touching them and stuff like that. Um, my, my mane, as you can see, kind of flows like it's underwater hinting at my destiny to become a muricorn. <laughs> and, um, and that's mostly about me. My mom sent me here to learn how to act around other ponies more normal. Next. My name is Honeybell. I come from a long uh, pony lineage of bee farmers. And the whole honey family comes from all across Equestria. But my immediate honey family comes from uh, Philadelphia. Uh, and I traversed here trying to find new plants and new bees that I could um, take home with me and grow our bee family. My name is Light Bright and I'm a Pegasus and I come from a long line of Pegasi that, um, well, if you don't know, Pegasi help control the weather and keep think the weather nice and working properly in Equestria. But I've never really been as much interested in the clouds. And I can fly like a Pegasus, but I'm not the best flyer. And I really just like shiny things and things that are bright. And I have my lamp that I carry with me everywhere so that it doesn't get dark. Uh, and I don't see super good. I've got, I wear glasses. Um, yeah, that's it. I came here to try to make, make new friends. Hi, I'm Golly Gosh. Well, I'm just so excited to be here. Um, I'm an earth pony and mostly that. I grew up like out in the West, like, and there weren't as many ponies there. So it's like really exciting to see all these ponies being ponies in like the same place. So cool. And I am, yeah, that's mostly about me. I just really like appreciate all the ponies and like how good they are at being ponies. Like, it's very cool. You're doing a great job. Thank you, you too. Thanks. All right. Dream Whisper is like looking at you a little baffled, mm. like at your unblinking eye. Does <laughs> <laughs> anybody have a set of polyhedral? <laughs> oh. I really do need to learn a lot about the world. <laughs> Does anybody have some dice I can borrow? I have two dice. Do you have a color preference or should I just toss you a bag? Just toss me a bag. <laughs> Break word like right. All right. So now that you've all been introduced, I'll tell you a little bit myself. I am Mo Shima, and I will be your camp counselor for the rest of this three day experience. I'm very happy to have you all with us and learn a little bit about you. And let's get right to it. We're going to have a camp full of activities for you. But uh, before we do, we always like to start our day at Camp Everbright with our Everbright theme song. Have you guys all seen the theme song that we've got? Yes. Yes. All right. If you know the tune of Clementine, you can just jump right in. It goes a little like this. Every pony, every pony, every pony is a friend. Honest, kind, and strong of mind, and laughter loyal to the end. Thank you, ponies. That was just darn delightful. 
You all did a wonderful job. So now that I've gotten to know you, I'll tell you more about Camp Everbright. We get our name because we have a shard of harmony that lights up the camp at all times. We don't have a dark, dark of night. We always have just a permanent sunlight and twilight so you can enjoy activities all day round. So that shard that par uh, powers the light, the sort of greenish dome that you can look up and see sparkling above you, should be present at all times. Even though it's, um, it's not dark, I'd still like you to go places with your buddy. So if everybody could pick a buddy right next to them. Hi. Hi. <laughs> You're gonna be a great buddy. We'll use the buddy system and stick together. Okay. All right. For your first time, uh, we're gonna have you get your, sa uh, your sash, we'll learn a variety of skills, do a whole bunch of crafts, play some fun games, and uh, at the end of the day, we'll see what we learned and where we developed in our friendship. Remember, make friendship fly. Now, if you guys wanna head on over that way, my uh, camp counselor Mule in the craft cabin will be waiting for you, and I believe he's got some sort of delightful craft project for you all cooked up, so. Head out, ponies, follow the trail, and let friendship fly. I'd like to canter because I'm really excited. Cantering is a great option. <laughs> Dream Whisper tries to canter right behind her. I fly. <laughs> We're the best slowly. sister. Of I'm pony gonna buddies. like try and frolic up, <laughs> jump a little bit. Yeah. I can fly. I don't know, golly gosh. Go ahead and roll body. Ooh. <laughs> Everybody else, you're fine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I get to use dice. I think that's an eight. Yes, that's an eight. Four. This is some pretty burn impressive frolicking. <laughs> you guys are con completely convinced of the poniness of this frolic. Wow, what an what an awesome pony! You're so athletic. Yeah. Even as an earth pony, I recognize your athletic. All right. So after your canters and your frolics, you reach the craft oh. cabin, and the craft cabin is a somewhat tilty, um, rustic cabin in the middle of the woods. It has glitter splashed over on the outside. There's clearly wood glue just holding the floorboards together. It looks like it's in a DIY condition, but clearly the work of a talented pony. As soon as you come close to it, the door bursts open and a zebra pops out. Hey, ponies, I'm glad you're here today because we got some crafting to get done. Everybody come in here. Come on, come on, trot along. Let's go, get in here. Names as you go, names as you go. Sound. All right, Dream Whisper, that's nice. Honey Bell, nice to meet you. Light Bright, very cool. Golly gosh, that Hi. was some impressive frolicking. I could see it through my door. Great work. Thanks. All right, today's project is making a bird house. Optionally, you can make a bee house if you'd like. Mm, I choose bee house. We have glue, we have craft sticks, we have glue, and we have glitter. glitter. Be warned, the glitter is prepared in specially crafted glitter bombs mm. that are likely to detonate at the slightest touch. Mm. Cool. So if you and are I serious about special. glitter, let me help you. Otherwise, this is a watch out for yourself. Mm. Anyway, if you'd all like to take a walk up to a table, we've got tools, hammers, chisels, um, did I mention craft sticks? Plenty of mm. things, whatever you'd like to make your birdhouse out of. Come on, ponies. All right. Glitter. Um, Can it just, just be glitter? The whole thing just glitter? You're a pony after my own heart, Light Bright. Reminds me of the, uh, the glitter trenches of 32. Mm. This is very impressive. Mm. Just glitter, field to field, all the way. Didn't realize you were there in 32. <laughs> Mule kind of looks up into the air. I was there. <laughs> glitter was everywhere. Scratches his head. Wow. The glitter falls out. You can never be rid of it. It follows you. Means so much. Speaking of traumatic glitter, I slides you a glitter bomb. Yes. <laughs> All right, ponies, go ahead and get to work. Take that bee house. Mm -hmm. Can we collaborate on a bee house? Yes. Or do we have to make so our shiny. own? You absolutely can collaborate. Because she's my favorite buddy. Cooperation is the spirit of friendship, ponies. Yay! Okay. Let's make this bee house. We're making a bee house. Okay, so we should get a hammer and a bag. Yes, it's gonna be so good. Like, yeah, we're gonna we put some sticks and then we're gonna put some and stuff and then I think we so should yes. throw Covered some glitter at it. Yes. Okay. Do we see swimming? Yes. Yes. I'm gonna say yes. reasonable. I'm gonna just say yes. Unless we got so many Glitter I can bombs, ask them outside. We could just like stack them and then some something seeds. <laughs> All right, ponies, it's been an hour and a hoop, and I've come to ask about your projects. Dream Whisper. Mm. Mm. Yes. Honey Bell. Mm. Tell me about your bee house. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna take some sticks and we're gonna 
start by creating the living room because bees always need a living room. Beautiful. They need a place to socialize. And then we're gonna build it up from there um, and use all the supplies that we can because we like to include everything in our supply thing. And then we're going to throw some glitter on the top because even bees think it's festive. I agree. We're gonna put some shells in there for some sea-like mm. art too. Yeah, we wanna make this a, a collaboration of both of our styles. Well, and I've got like something patient. special for you that I've uh, saved for a good crafting occasion. <gasps> Any crafting occasion. Slides across a little jar of rainbow glitter. <gasps> Careful, so it's self-adhesive. <laughs> I'm honored, Mr. Mule. Thank you. Thank you. Golly gosh, light bright. Would you like to tell me about your bird feeder? So we have a whole bunch of glitter bombs that we're just attaching to each other with a little hole that something could come into. So like... And it's as big as possible, so it's very welcoming, but it's just like a, a pyramid of bombs. Yes. Of glitter. Yes. Scream safety and DYI. I like it. <laughs> mm. And if they ever go off, it'll just be glitter for everyone, which is, you know, like the fireworks. best. Surprise them at home. <laughs> but glitter, though. But glitter. <laughs> surprise celebration home. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Given the delicate nature of your surprise celebration home, can you go ahead and roll uh, a mind and body? You guys can pick who does which task. <laughs> Working together is the spirit of friendship. Mm, yes. Six. Four. All right, everything goes together perfectly well. You have those glitter bombs wrapped up, taped up, and dip, there's even the hole that you predicted would be there. Excellent. Good to go. All right, your guys' project, would you guys like to roll a mind and body and see how well you make your bee habitat with living room? Sure. I think I, I should roll the body. I definitely should roll mine. I rolled a four. All right, that's also very successful. I like the work that you've done here. See, those two and a half hours go by like magic when you're working together. Mm -hmm. So wow. these projects, you can put your uh, put your stamp on it. Here's uh, some glitter paint to dip your hoof in and stamp your, uh, your birdhouse very carefully on the birdhouse there. Mm. Eh. <laughs> There's a small <laughs> beeping sound and a tick, 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 but then, uh, then silence. I'm sure that's fine. That seems like what it's supposed to do. Oh, no. That's just adorable. Are we going to put these in a tree now? Actually, yeah. If everyone would like to follow me out. Suddenly, there's a big bang. A flash of green lightning comes through the cabin. The wall sort of explodes out a little bit. Glitter goes everywhere. The bombs oh, no. break apart. Everybody oh, no. roll body not to get dusted. Oh, man. Ugh. Oh, sick. All right. Um, One. Five. We had uh, Honeybell with your six. You managed to pony out of the way, just into some shells, uh, unclear of the glitter explosion. Mm. Was that a one dream whisper? It, it was. You uh, look um, confident and uh, full of breath as you just chin up, <laughs> glitter everywhere. I'm already covered in stars. It. <laughs> so yes. it just makes me look more star. Yeah, it's it. like a wave of glitter, which is your natural element. So yeah. that's, nice. what did we have, Golly Goth? Golly gosh, I got a five. You're, uh, you, you managed to not, not glitter yourself completely as well. A few flecks here and there behind the hair for accents, but not, uh, not painfully covered. Don't need a bath today. A two. All right, light bright. Well, the good news is you're brightier. Excellent. <laughs> light brightier. The, uh, as you're covered in glitter, you um, see the green lightning as it blasts through, kind of strikes, it dodges past uh, Honey Bell with her good roll, the lightning breaks, and then slaps straight into Mule, who is immediately illuminated with a uh, kind of a green aura. And you can see him kind of, what, way, 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 glitter, 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 glitter. And his uh, speech slows down. His movements seem to kind of take all di different directions at once. As he is, um, seems almost like he's slowed in time. His head turns one way and the other way. And you can see different permeations of that as he attempts to move. But he's suddenly moving very slowly and not oh, making no. a whole lot of sense. Mr. Mule, you don't oh. look so good. Wow, I've never seen time do that. It's uh, very slowly, one of his heads starts turning towards you, but the others turn towards the other ponies. Something's not right. And there's still more green lightning kind of shooting mm -hmm. through. Another beam breaks, an eye beam's crashing down. Dream Whisper, it's falling at your head. Oh no. Does any pony like to act? I would. I would like to push Dream Whisper out of the way. All right, Honey Bell, roll body and save your friend. Oh no. Yay. I rolled a two. 
Does anybody like to cash in a friendship token? You can re-roll that. Use yeah, two I tokens can. to roll I a 20 sided love... dice. Or if you use three tokens, that's an automatic success in whatever you do. The power um, of friendship is magical. Yeah, I'd like to cash in a friendship token. So I roll a 20 sided. Uh, if you use two tokens, you can roll a 20. I will roll a 20 One is a re-roll. I'm worried for my buddy. I roll a 13. <laughs> Boom. You very gently lift up Dream Whisper, move her out of the way, pirouette, <laughs> and uh, a, spa, um, a shimmer of glitter just whoosh, from your movements puffs and lands beneath you. Everyone is very oh, impressed. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. The bees taught it to me. So pony. All He's right. like Swan Lake. How, so it looks like, yeah. like is there bee more lake. lightning in the room bee. there is there's more lightning in the room and now that the beam has fallen the roof looks like it's more or less collapsed and you can see that green uh field which is above you which is lights up camp ever bright at all times is flickering and lightning is raining down for it something oh no something that is seems wrong. bad do we evacuate i wonder if something's wrong with the element of harmony should we go investigate it i think we should get out of this house that's a great idea mm. also though does he need help? He's very slowly making his way towards the door, studying with a click, 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 mule, mule, 32, 32, on his way out the door. Mm. He's oh. moving and talking just very slowly and scattered. Wow, mm. poor guy. Um, well, he's going out the door, so we should probably also go out the door. Yes. Yeah, he's, he's beating you currently. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would like to Shall we uh, help get him? the pony out. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. help him. All right. I will As help you... him with the power of my telekinesis if need be. What a brilliant idea. Maybe let's... What do you guys think? I can move him yeah. I was going to say, I don't know if touching him seems like a good idea. It does have kind of a the... greenish aura that seems to be emitting sparks. So that seems like a smart... Telekinesis sounds like a really let's good idea. Let's try that. Mm. Wow. Three. Three? You, uh, you managed to move him, shuffle him forward a little bit, but not, uh, not lift, not, not fully move. Okay. So I'm it's progress. It's just a little giddy up in the step. But before too much time goes down, you manage to get Mule out of the cabin. Good effort. Uh, more pieces of the roof crack off, and you can get a better view of the uh, the Everbright Dome now, which appears to be, um, its green is flickering. There appears to be lightning shooting one way and another. You think in the distance you can see a crack of, uh, um, there might be smoke and fire oh, off no. as well. Do I know, or do we know, what element of harmony is within, like, uh, Everbright? Um... If you want to go take a closer look and roll in mind, maybe you can uh, piece it together. I'd love you to take been a closer look, as such. if possible. I will come with you. Yeah. Should we all go together as a group? Yeah, that buddies. sounds fantastic. Yes. <laughs> Friendship is magic. Friendship is magic. All right. As you start to go, uh, another pony runs up. Is, ah, ah, ah. Oh, something is wrong. You guys, oh no, it's got Mule too. What, did he get hit by the lightning? Yes, yeah, he did. Yeah. Hi, I, oh, by the way, hi, I'm, I'm Twitter time, and you know, despite me being late, um, I'm usually pretty well on time. Yeah. I don't, yeah. but... Um, right in the nick of time. Yeah, I was meant to be a junior uh, junior leader. I was going to uh, learn under Mule, but it, it, something is not, not going right here. Oh. Is it? Have you seen from the Twitter feed what seems to be happening across Everbright? I actually don't do social media. Mm -hmm. My name is not reflective of the things that I do in life. Oh. I don't believe in nominative determinism, but oh. some That's people do. So. Mm -hmm. That was a big well, word. Like Twitter time. Yeah, so um, I've been trying to gather the, uh, the junior campers and some of the other ponies together because they're really, really afraid ponies. Mm -hmm. We've got some scared campers out there. Yeah. So how many camp Wait, should I campers has this thing no, happened to? Great. Great. I just passed Mo Shima out by the Shard, and mm -hmm. she's, um, they've been affected as well. Oh, no. But luckily, we've managed to, a lightning bolt goes shooting past, and Twitter time manages to just duck down and cover his head right as it blasts over. Get out of the way. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. We'd like to go and investigate um, what's happening to the Shard of Harmony. Um, could yeah. you point us in the right direction? Yes, absolutely that way. Uh, Moshima is pretty close to the shard, um, and I'm trying to direct the uh, the ponies that have been affected that way. Come on, Mule. Come on. And Mule's stepping slowly. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. I'll see you in a bit. Thanks, okay, Twitter bye. time. All right, you managed to make it to the Shard of Harmony, and uh, the shard stands on a, a small pedestal that's made of uh, uh, logs and twigs that are sewn together and has a kind of a wrap around it. And generally, the first time you saw it is in a crescent moon sort of shape. At this point, it's been it's snapped off, 
from the, the base. There's still a wrap around one piece of it, but the, uh, the crescent moon is uh, completely gone. There's green sparkles in the air that such just seem to be kind of shooting off now and then, but it looks like the Shard of Harmony has been broken. <gasps> oh no! Wow. That's not Moshima good. is standing not too far away, just get, 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 at, 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 not quite making any sense and moving very slowly. Hmm. I wonder who broke it. How would you even break it? It looks very powerful. How would you heal it? Anybody Ooh, want to try just... to answer their questions? You could look yes. around for some clues, roll your mind at the yeah. shard, try to, if anybody knows any magic, maybe you could look into the magic of the shard. I do, I, well, the element of magic is my element of harmony. Perfect, that so, sounds like perfectly fit to look into something like that. So do I roll my... Roll your mind. Okay. Mm -hmm. I rolled a one. I am gonna use my friendship tokens to roll the 20 instead. Come on. 13. Yeah. That's a high success. So this Shard of Harmony is put together by having a little bit of each of the elements of harmony, kindness, generosity, laughter, loyalty, honest, honesty, and magic have bound together to create this shard. Mm -hmm. And it looks like uh, that balance has been destroyed when the shard was broken. And those elements trying to reconnect to each other are creating some sort of uh, magical field where the base has been broken. Also, you can see, um, You've uh, locked onto the way that it's broken. You can see a pattern in sort of the sparks and explosions, and there seems to be almost a green misty trail leading off into the woods. Oh. And towards, your power tells you, water. Oh. Shall we follow my pony friends? Yes. The green trail? I will use my locate water and we will follow the green trail. Yes. You really yes. seem like you know this where you're important. going. This is important. I know, this is really rare for me. I usually don't know anything. All, All right, let's go. You. All right, you head off into the forest, um, following the the trail of broken harmony. Okay. Um, on your way, you notice that a couple pieces of the uh, the forest. There's some smoldering, a little bit of burning, oh, no. and then just a wee oo wee oo wee oo. Oh, the no. tractor rolls up. A bunch of very fluffy looking sheep with uh, magical rainbow horns come rolling up. They have a little uh, water cannons and water bladders that they. <laughs> <laughs> bat, 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 bat. Putting out the uh, putting out the fire. They, uh, they salute you as you go. Mm. I tell you, this can. is bad juju. Mm. <laughs> tell me about. Tell me more. What else do you know? We uh, uh um, we unicorns. They're used. Uh, yeah, like unicorns. Range and protect the forest, and something has gone horribly wrong. Oh no. Yeah, I don't know, campers, but we want you to stay safe. So we're going to put out all the fires and keep this lovely forest uh, well protected. Thank you. Nobody even pays us. Pays us. Off they go. <laughs> you're really neat. I think you're neat, too. Someone should pay them. Mm. I, I give them a friendship it. token. All right, they appreciate your, uh, your handiwork, and thank you. That touches me to the heart. From unicorn to unicorn. Oh, I huh? believe in you. All right. For your kindness, you're immediately rewarded with an extra uh, token. So oh. if you would like a, you can just add just add that. from your spent pile, and off off they go. They were really fast to get to that fire. Yeah, they're really good at their jobs. Mm. Okay, but is that where my horn is telling me the the problem lot? Mm -hmm. Following the uh, following the the green magical trail to the. Uh, it was just water. to the sheep with the... Well, no, you're still... This was an on-the-way okay. event. Okay, yeah. So we're still going. Okay. And we're going into a forest? Yep, it's through the forest. Is Most it... of the camp is forested. It's not There's... dark, is it? It's uh, pushing on twilight. Since uh -oh. Camp Everbright is constantly illuminated, now that that field is gone, it definitely looks like it's pushing tonight. It looks you like the, the sun might finally set on Camp Everbright. Thank That's goodness we have a lantern. Oh, I'm right. just mm -hmm. going to... We need I'm... you. Yep, I'm just going gonna, gonna to keep my lamp. All right. Lamp it up. Speaking of materials, did anybody take anything? Do you guys still have your glitter bombs or anything from the uh, the craft house? I didn't say I that, but I hundred percent would have. <laughs> yeah, I, I. In this case, I would say I wanted to take the house, but I imagine in my hurry to get out the door, I probably wouldn't okay. have grabbed. It. And in your access of uh, glue and glitter, you find that it's uh, when you pull out your lamp, you find that your your glitter bomb contraption is stuck to your side as well. So oh, it's okay. followed you. All right, excellent. 
You make, you come to the edge of um, of a pond, uh, a shoot, a runoff from Niagara Falls. There's still a large waterfall cascading down, not as mm -hmm. big as the the grand uh, design, mm -hmm. but still a uh, a flowing body of water. And uh, the magical broken shard looks like it sort of lifts up, crosses the water, and you can see on the other side what appears to be two cave entrances, uh, one on the very bottom, almost at the water level, and then another that's higher up in the, uh, the rocks and the mountains, oh, no. just kind of on a cliff face. But it looks like from wherever you go from here, you'll probably have to use one of the, uh, you, uh, find a way across the water. Anybody mm. like to take a closer look around or? Well, yeah, I could yeah. fly yeah. over the water and like, I don't know, carry something maybe. Oh, that's a great mm. idea, that's like, right? Idea. I want to look for a log to put across the water. There's definitely plenty of uh, logs in the forest, a little heavier than one pony can handle by herself. I could help. Us earth ponies can lift anything. So strong. Mm. Okay, yeah. So can we try and lift a log and roll it into the, across the stream? Sure, go ahead and roll body. And because, um, yeah, you can both roll it and you take the best roll uh, oh, when okay. you're working together. Rolled a four. I rolled a one. Pick me. All right. We'll <laughs> never know whose help mattered more, but you managed to get the law. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing it. You're doing it. Good job, golly gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you manage to get the log in the water. As soon as you start moving it, there's a buzz and a whole swarm of bees comes buzzing around. Oh, no. Flying ah! out of the log, immediately heading for Golly Gosh, light bright, dream whisper. Please, bees, don't, uh, don't hurt my friends. Can they understand me? They do understand you. They're like, wait, 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 they're moving our home. Oh, we'll take a different log, I promise. I'm sorry to have disturbed you. That's so nice of you to consider us. Thank you. Would you put, would you point me in the direction of the best log to take? The best log? Mm. The best logs, if you're trying to cross the river, are the ones that have uh, had time to fall apart but not completely disintegrate. They mm. float a bit better. Little known, our bees are excellent engineers. Ah. Here, let me show you the best logs. Thank you, sir bees. Come, golly gosh, we'll find a different one. Can Holy the rest shit, of us I'm understand going. the bees? No. Okay, no. so I got half of that. Yeah, oh. there's just bees all buzzing around Honeybell now. Mm. And she's I'd like things. to relay the information they told me. You just buzzed at those bees. That was amazing. That's so cool. She <laughs> speaks bee. Wow. All right, Golly. they give you some... Uh, um, they give you some... Tell you where the best logs are, the mm. ones that will uh, float on top and mm -hmm. uh, be long enough and light enough to make your way across. I'd like to put back the log that we took so that we can put it back. Put it back right. in condition. Thanks again, bees. They for cover helping. up their little uh, their little hive hole. Um, I would like to um, plug my um, my delightful beekeeping and uh, tell them that if they ever needed a safe place away from Everbright, they could come silly go. You are so helpful. We will ask the queen and consider it. Mm. See you again, Honeybell. See you again, Mr. B. All right. So, um, like an ambassador. As we move things along, they got you some nice. <laughs> oh, so cute. <laughs> you can have a token. Yeah, party. You move the logs into place, and it makes for easy crossing. Still, you never know when a pony might uh, might upset themselves. So let's go ahead and make a body roll to cross the log. Currently, it's pointed at the uh, the cave on the the bottom, unless anybody has a different target. Hey, Dream Whisper, do you Ooh. know if the um, green mist? that you've seen is going towards the top cave or the bottom cave. Can I discern that? Yeah, it looks like it's more or less going towards the uh, the top cave. Mm -hmm. okay. I could go look. Towards the top cave. I think the only one that can fly is you, right? Yeah, I, can I fly up there and take a look? Yeah, absolutely. You do? Um, and the entrance to that cave is a little bit wider and thicker, um, but it smells. It does not smell good. It is a- uh, Guys, it smells real bad. An unharmonious smell that's it's coming out bad. of this cave. You do, however, see uh, little bits of craft sticks that they've been maybe making into something with paint and glitter, but it, it's broken. It's not a very good craft. Someone tried to make a flower, but it's just big, basically crinkled up paper like they've never seen a flower before in their lives. Uh -huh. So there's a little bit of uh, bad craft scattered around the entrance to the cave. So I don't like being a mean pony, but, um... Some, somebody tried their best to make some crafts. Mm. They, they tried real hard. Mm. Maybe we can help them. They We're could sure. probably use some teamwork. We could show them some flowers mm. and have something to go from because they were trying so hard. Mm -hmm. Have we crossed the river yet? 
Uh, I'd the... like a, a body roll if that's where we're going. Would for I crossing. be able to ask the bees one more thing? Sure, they live there. Oh yeah. Um. Hey bees, can you tell me what's in those caves on the other side of the lake? They buzz their little bee bodies. There's like mm, those furry bats, bats, big bats. Bats. Mm, mm, oh no. Mm -hmm. Bats. Okay. That's why we stay hidden in the ground. They look for us. They would eat us if they found us. Oh, no. Thanks for telling me. Be careful. Be careful, Honey Bell. Here's a token of. Do you need a royal guard? We could help you. That would be amazing. Would one of you be so inclined? Absolutely. A, uh, a bee about this big flutters out, and it's got a little sash and a tiny little bee sword. <laughs> I will draw this this, uh, <laughs> this guard. What is the guard called? She, uh, her name is Mincy. Hi, Mincy. And she is the, uh, the most practiced, the most precise of the bee guard, your honey bell highness, ma'am. Thank you. She salutes you. Thank you, Mincy of the bee guard. I, I am be, honored. To I will be person. nothing but a professional. Perfect. Mincy of the royal the bee guard. Bee's knees. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dream Whisper is really excited about the bat. Um, mm. I rolled a one for trying to cross the river. Oh, I didn't roll yet. Oh, yeah, we haven't made our way. I can I just eight. fly over the river? You can. Oh. Do I need to roll for that? Mm, no. Oh, boy, okay. this isn't going to go if good If I me. rolled an eight, would I be able to help your golly god cross better? I think so. I think you work together like that. You can help her cross. It's okay, golly gosh. I got golly you. gosh puts a foot wrong. Uh, the log crumbles a little, and you see golly gosh tipping over, but are able to uh, assist. <laughs> Thank you. I'll hold my I don't think Dream Whisper does well on the logs, and she probably falls into the water. Um, oh, no! One. But she can swim. I don't know how well uh, she's going to need to swim on this stuff, though. This looks pretty hard for There is water. a flow just because of the uh, the waterfall pushing mm. the water. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't mean it's impossible. Okay. So uh, Dream Whisper falls in the water at the same time that Honey Bell is helping out Golly Gosh. Yeah. There's a There's a sploosh. Oh, no! Um, you, the water is immediately quite cold. <gasps> not. Ooh. Not exactly what you're used to, but it is water. It is more or less your element. If you want yeah. to roll your body to swim comfortably, okay. mm. go ahead. Oh no! I am. I keep rolling a one. Can I? Can I help uh, out? Yeah, you absolutely have to use your situation. tokens to Yay. help out your friend. So, so, so we both are. Both? Yeah, we can both spend, and then it's an automatic success, right? If you if you use three total, it's an automatic success. If you use two, it's a d20. Okay, well, we've got two so far. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Roll a d20. Roll, roll a d20. Yay! Come on, think that. Ten. Nine. Very nice. Is yeah. this for swimming? Or, yes. Uh, okay. You uh, very uh, very happily plod along in the water, even though it's a bit cold. You're, you're learning something. You uh, managed to navigate the currents uh, perfectly well. Yay! Did you mean to go swimming, Dream Whisper? <clears throat> <laughs> no. The universe does things that like that to me quite a bit. It's okay. Okay. Um, I am excited about seeing bats, though, because whenever I get my wings, they're going to be bat-like. Mm. Is that something you like get to pick? Bat? I don't know, but I like to think it is. Well, that's cool. My wings are just feathery. Uh, Mincy says to Honeybell, your companion has fallen into the death life. Do oh. we need to start a new larva? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Mincy, no, no. Um, some ponies just like different things, is all. But you have a good observation. Cannot claim to understand, but I trust you, Honey Bell. Mm. Wow. Thank you, Mincy. <laughs> You're really good at swimming. So mm. cool. Thank you. I didn't think I was going to be at first, but then it just, um, it came to me with the power of friendship. Do we have a pony that would like to take stock of the cave as we all come to the entrance? Yeah. I, it's real dark. It is real dark. Only someone oh, had no. a lantern. We do have I do a lantern. I do have a lantern. Okay, I'll illuminating the path. Can you hold up your lantern and I'll stick my head in there. Will you? I'm not afraid. Okay, you, you come with me. Oh, the no, big the stink of this place hits all of you as you get even close to the cabinet, uh, close to the entrance. It is is not smell good. There's um, uh, refuse matter, kind of more or less just piled in corners of the caves, and more uh, crafting materials appear to have been broken or shoddily put together. Somebody tried to make a rubber band car, but it's like, it just looks like a rubber band finger trap. Mm. This is a pungent place. Mm. What does it smell like? Want to use your mind? Do you know? Uh, yeah, perhaps? I'll use my mind on that. 
<laughs> one. Yeah. Bad. It smells like bad. It smells like <laughs> really bad. Also one. It smells like really, really Ooh, bad. Pick bad. me. The bad, the bad is overwhelming. I rolled a four. And what does All it right. smell like? Um, if you put you put two and poo together, and it probably is bats, things that bats do in mm. caves, a little bit of that. It smells like guano. Oh. Do, are maybe the bats trying to make crick crack? <gasps> oh, are they not allowed in the pony camp? I don't know. Mm. Are they bat ponies? Little bat cracks. I, I like that. It is every pony camp, right? Mm -hmm. But why do they have their crafts out here then? Maybe did they steal the crap? Mm, can I have uh, something like out of game? Sure. Uh, like, are do you take um? Are you taking references from the series? No. Because okay. <laughs> I thought I might know what it. Was, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Lose five sanity. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> um. Okay. I I would like to um, with with light bright's light. I could go for it. I'm willing to explore the cave to find the bat. Okay, I'll come with you maybe right behind you. Okay. If you stay in the middle with me, we'll be safe, Light Bright. Okay, it's just really dark. I don't, that's part of why I wanted to come to Everbright, because it's supposed to be ever bright. That's fair, that's very fair. We're gonna fix it back to being ever bright. Oh, I just had a thought. What if whoever's in here um, wants to be included, but for some reason can't be, so they steal all the crap? That's what I was thinking too. Mm. Maybe we can help them be included. Mm. Yes, we should do that. That's Maybe a great they need idea. some glitter. I still have lots of glitter bombs. Yeah, they're glitter kind of crafts they're kind of with them? they're stuck. <laughs> We're gonna maybe we can maybe they'll think it's a craft to put the shard back together. Huh? Hey, that's well, we a good don't, idea. We don't know they broke it yet. That's yeah, fair. it might have just like accidentally fallen over or something. Hmm. So how do we? Start exploring forward. So, um, as you go a little further into the cave, a little deeper, a little darker, even a little stinkier, you mm. definitely get the distinct impression that maybe this isn't a safe place. Yeah. Maybe it's not. And out from the darkness, pairs of red eyes start lighting up. Oh no! Then immediately, ponies! Ponies! Ponies in the cave! And a bunch of uh, bats, bigger than you are, uh, bigger than you are long, begin fla uh, flapping their wings and darting about. There's not a whole lot of room in the cave, but they manage to take up the space. You can't quite tell how many there are because so many wings are flapping. And immediately, uh, light bright, you see one coming for your lantern, taking a dive straight at you, straight no! at the light, trying to plunge you into darkness. No, 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 no! no! Okay, I'm, I would like to try to dodge out of the way. All right, go ahead and roll your body and get out of the way. All right, we're gonna try real hard. Four on a four. All right, Yay. you jump out of the way, you flash the light, and you can see a, um, a bat with a, um, sharp, um, sharp claws that had pieces of pipe cleaner stuck to them. Oh, no. <laughs> dash, uh, dashing at the light, and you get a better perspective. It looks like there's maybe about four bats tussling back mm. and forth until another one comes in Dream Whisper, trying to grab her by that flowing hair. Hey! Don't... Okay, I'm gonna try to do the bucking thing. Okay. Right? Like a bucking kick? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah, sure. See how that works. A two out of four. All right. Uh, so you you knock the bat, but it doesn't deter it very much. Okay. It um, it manages to pull on your hair and pull at you. Pony, pony. No, I'd like to charm. Get out I'd of like our to cave. try and use my charm okay. skill to see if I can calm down the bat so that they can talk. All right. In the meantime, Dream Whisper, it exhausts one point of stamina as you're shaking oh. back and forward with a bat on your head. Um, Go ahead and roll your charm. Oh, um, bats, please calm down and listen to us. A two. <laughs> You're here to steal. You're here to make fun of us. I'm, You're here. I would like to stare at the bat that's grabbing Dream Whisper's hair. Okay. Go ahead and make your uh, Hey, your you! Stare, your mind, and then I, I stare directly at them when my eyes just seem really, really, really big all of a sudden. And hopefully this works. It's a two, and I will re-roll that if I need to. Is two enough? Um, you uh, you stare at it, and it doesn't look like it, it will be. The creature kind of stares back. Just okay, cool. Then I'm going to re-roll. <laughs> uh, so just one will let me re-roll, or I can do two and get a d20. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll do that. Eleven. Eleven. 
That's a very success. You stare at it. It stares back. You stare back harder, piercing the deep darkness of his bat like soul. That bat immediately freezes and backs kind of backs up against the wall, just kind of prone, just Be nice. <laughs> nice. I don't, don't want to yell things at the bat. Oh no, stares uh, stares too hard is down. You ponies, what magic have you got? Get out of our cave. Get out of our cave. We just want to visit. Would you like to roll your charm? You guys are so good at flying. But yes, charm. Charm is a D6. Two out of six. And if you stop pulling my hair, maybe we can what help you with your craft food. I am pretty good at flying. So good at flying. But it looks like you can't. This will be easy. And it comes charging it, uh, golly gosh. Go ahead and make a body roll as it tries to Not my grab body. your hair. I want to no. frolic away from that. Would anybody like to spend a friendship token to interfere? Uh, I would. I'll spend a friendship token. All right, Honeybell, what have we got? Um, I, I want to jump in front and say, no, we want to be your friends. All right, hard charm. Hard charm? Uh, I'm gonna I'm reroll that. <laughs> Five. Five. <laughs> <laughs> um, right as that um, person is coming at you, wings spread out. Honeybell jumps in front of you, and you say, "We want to be friends." Then one of the other bats is, "Fly by, fly by." They use the F word, and it immediately <laughs> just stalks up like, "Friend." Yes. Friend. Friend. Explain yourself. Friend. We I have glitter. We can help you with crafts. Immediately all of them stop and start looking at you guys. Hmm. What do you mean by friends? What does friendship include? Crafts. We can help with crafts. Then uh, then uh, Hangry Hungry is like, does it include food? Yes. Snacks? I'm so yes. hungry, it makes me hangry. Oh no, <laughs> I imagine. Yes, we can, we can go um, eat clovers together. We can craft together. We can make anything that you'd like. I'll eat clovers as long as it has bugs on it. My name's, uh, Hangry Hungry. Hungry mm. Hangry? My name's Penny Beth. feel like I would be interested in that, but we have to uh, take it up with our leader, <laughs> Flyby, who's still uh, circling in the air. And I am good at flying, aren't I? You're very good at flying. You're very, very good, good at flying. flying. In the dark? Mm. Wow. Thanks, Pony. That's really nice. How do you do that? Did you know that bats echolocate? No. Tell I me more about it. I scream into the darkness, just. <laughs> 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 you can hear that echo across the wall. <laughs> Honeybell is literally amazed. She's like, oh! And as the screams <laughs> echo, like, you feel that. like you can see the whole cave. <laughs> I scream at the darkness too, but it doesn't help me seem better. Oh, oh, I scream in the darkness all the time. But like, right, you still do have your lantern. I do have my lantern. You notice the bats do shy away from you. They don't get anywhere close to the uh, mm. the one with the light. Oh. Do you guys have a bat camp in here? Is this bat camp? I don't know if we'd call it bat camp. Really, it's just a... Uh, a party of winged mammals, but uh, we we should probably talk to Bruce about this. He's Bruce. he's he's Bruce. he's the bat in charge. He's the big bat in the tower. Uh, uh, take us to your Bruce. Take yeah, Bruce. we'll we'll have a conversation. Can't believe they use the F word. Friends. All right. So the uh, the bats accompany you. They lead you to a big open chamber. There's chandeliers, stalagmites, quartz crystals everywhere. It's very shiny. There's even bits of uh, what appear to be like just iridescent uh, fungus glowing on things. That adds a little so shimmer, good. a little shine to the place. So there is a little bit of light for you to see by in here. It's not a lot. It's still mm. quite dark. Jesus. But you can also see that green lightning bouncing off the top of the cave, creating almost a sheet about 30, 35 feet up. The uh, so these pillars of rocks uh, kind of climb towards the uh, top of the cave. You can see a glowing green um, at the top of one of them, what is probably the uh, the Shard of Harmony as it's belching green lightning everywhere. And circling the bottom of it is a very big and very intense looking bat creature. Oh no! It's the Bruce! <laughs> Bruce that time, hungry, hangry, my name is Spruce! <laughs> And what, who, what are you doing with those ponies? Why are you bringing them here? Why are we not eating them or learning their crafts? Mm. Spruce, Spruce, it's, it's, it's okay. They, they, they use the F word. They, they want to be friends. And somebody said something about bugs on a clover. He looks around, he eyes all of you. Mm. Explain you yourself, you? ponies. I brought glitter. Mm. Raises uh, one bat eyebrow and glitter is for? Crafts. Oh, it makes so much sense now. Mm. We can be friends um, without you eating us, and we can share how we can do crafts um, and then eat together instead of you eating us. As interested as we are in your crafts, we have a 
um, situ bit of a situation. If you uh, haven't noticed, just look up there. Your darn pony magic is lightening up the place. I took that darn thing to get rid of the lights. Mm. The lights were scaring away all of the bugs, all of the food around here. And oh. where's a big group of bats like us supposed to say? You see a lot of cave systems like this around? No, no. this is the bat cave. And it's the only one around for miles. That makes so much sense. With no food, we get very hungry. And like hungry, hangry, we aren't our best selves when we haven't eaten. I don't understand, you want it to not be light? We want it to not be light. Bats see in the darkness. Fly by, show them what we do. I already did, sir. Do it again! <laughs> oh! <laughs> and that's how a true bat sees. I really would like to just imagine a bunch of bats in a cave screaming. <laughs> Biology doesn't lie. That's amazing. Um, can, so now that I sort of see the shard of harmony can i deduce what element it's from even though i know already that there are a bunch of elements holding it together yeah you want me to roll mine mm -hmm. two <laughs> darn there's not a green element of harmony mm. it doesn't make sense that does i wonder if we put this back together in a way that could help us compromise so that you and your um, batty ways can uh, continue to be bats and us in our pony ways can continue to be ponies but um, the cycle of light will continue to benefit us both. Brilliant. <gasps> Thanks. So um, us bats, you would by the day it would be ponies and by by night it would be a dark night where maybe the, the bugs would come back? Yeah. yeah. That seems like it would help you. Let me you. consider. Twilight, we could do crafts together. Yeah. He, uh, his facade drops. <gasps> that's a brilliant idea. I mean, that's that's a brilliant idea. <laughs> yeah. I Everyone's love what you come up salt. with. As long Perhaps as I can keep my lamp. We could, uh, right. I will talk with the rest of the bats and maybe crafts by Twilight's is an idea. Mm. But uh, the problem that I still face is I can't touch that shard. It's blasting off that green prickly stuff, and when I did, yes? Might I take a gander at the shard? That happens to be kind of my specialty. Mm, I suppose Cody it wouldn't magic. hurt anything. It's like 35 feet up the rock. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, could I, like, ha am I strong enough to carry another Unlikely, pony? Unlikely, but with a good roll or enough friendship tokens, anything is possible. I am not the strongest pony, but I, I could like try to, to get you up there. I would like to use the um, my telekinesis to try to actually move the shard. All right, reaching out with your magic. It or the bats difficult. could help. But let's try it. Okay, oh, let's but go they to can't help because they can't get close to it. Oh, that's true. Three out of six. All right, um, you can't even tell if it wiggles up there. Okay. Mm. Can I use my mind to try to um, figure out uh, what elements of harmony? Well, let's see if there's anybody else who has any ideas. I wonder okay. if I can ask Mincy to see if Mincy can um, go up and like take a gander. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. Yeah. She salutes you. Zip, zip, zip. Lightning blast out from the shard. She dodges. She weaves. She goes up there. She, you can see her zip, zip, zip around, and um, she comes back. And there's almost even a sparkle of, of uh, yellow glitter. She makes a trail. She, she comes back to you. <laughs> Reporting, ma'am. The shard is up there. It's balanced precariously on a pile of rocks that don't look particularly steady. The lightning is coming from the thing. I do not think you will be able to grab it with your person, ma'am. What an excellent report. Thanks, Mincy. Top of the class. Nice. <laughs> Could we like throw something, something at, at the it? rocks? Yeah, That's what I was thinking. Will it break the Shard of Harmony? Maybe you could just pull out a little rock with your telekinetic yeah. brain. Yeah, if I focused on just some of the rocks underneath the Shard, would that work? We'll find out. Okay. You're so smart. Okay, re-rolling. Actually, you know what? Auto success. Auto success. Yeah, you whip that rock out. There's a, uh, a crack and a tumble as the rock sort of slide neatly. You've managed to take the keystone in a way that's safe for everybody around, yet still manages to uh, collapse the tower down. Nice. And then the, the shard comes tumbling with it, landing uh, very nicely in, in the middle of the circle of all of you. You can see that it's broken off and it's shooting its green lightning from the place where it's been broken. Hmm. Probably not something you want to touch. 
Okay. But it's so okay. Spruce big. Bane looks at it. And, uh, it's so bright and sparkly. I wonder if we have something to wrap it in. Do we hmm. have something like a like a cloth to wrap it in so that I we have don't... glitter bombs? <gasps> that might actually, if you cover it with glitter, cover it with glitter, and then we all oh. carry it. Yeah, it'll be like a safety coating of sparkle. Can we go with land glitter. Yes. I, I, yeah, that sounds pretty amazing. All right, we have volunteered to activate the, it's attached to you. Would you like yeah, to? I mean, I think, I mean, if it's attached to like my, the, roughly just, where my cutie mark is, I could just like hip check it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That is a really bold plan, but maybe take it off. Like, is it dangerous? It's just going to get glitter everywhere, right? The glitter will never be unstuck. Is that a problem? Not no, to me. No. <laughs> You know what, go with your first instinct. I support you. Golly gosh, for being a good supporter, you can have another friendship token. Already. Okay. All right, so you go ahead. I'm going to try to bump the the glitter bombs into the shard. That All is right. my plan. A, uh, I'm a pony boy, so glittering in five, four, three. Glitter is irreversible. Two, one. <laughs> Boom! There's a big just blast of glitter. just fills up the entire cage. Just shoosh, blows out the guano out of every exit and entrance. Just shoosh, shoosh, cleans the place off. Immediately yeah, smells a lot better. Who knew that this glitter would be lavender scented? But M <laughs> Mule commits He's with his glitter bombs. He mm. knows what he's doing. Something's and you just here. whoosh That's over it. I don't care what anybody rolls. You get glitter all up everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you guys are not fully coated. But the shard beneath you is an entire layer of glitter. A glitter cocoon, if you will. Mm -hmm. has enwrapped and enshrouded the uh, the Harmony Shard, which is no longer blasting lightning, but it is neither projecting light as well. So the entire uh, cavern is only lit by the light, uh, the now glitterly light, now like a disco ball because of the, uh, <laughs> the way the light's broken up, of your lantern. How fabulous! Good Everything's job, so light bright! Sparkly now, <laughs> this is such an improvement on this everything! This is so amazing! Likely <laughs> guano. Are we able to, or I guess I will, <laughs> try to pick it up the All shard right. yeah you managed to you can feel it's a little bit warm and a little bit bristling like static electricity but mm. it doesn't seem to harm you fly by it's still circling around as the glitter rains down like woo <laughs> are they all glittering time. now too what's that are they all glittering now too yeah they are glitter 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 wow and then the disco ball shine of your light it bounces off the bats too so you have this like rotating spread of light and glitter on the, uh, the nice clean so bat cave great. with crystal yeah. chandeliers this is the most amazing explosion I've ever been a part of. Yeah, it's I so am. Good. Uh, I am. I have. <laughs> it's so good. Everything's so bright now. Let's take this glittery magic back to our pony. I think we should do it with Bruce because yeah. he helped us um, at least find it or find a way to. Yeah, yeah. I, I think, think we should. Idea. We could have Spruce talk to Moshima. Yeah, we could. We could talk about how we need to include the bat in our. All right, I agree. He, he's willing to come with you. Thanks, Bruce. Mm -hmm. Bruce. And uh, he can help. The bats can help you. If anybody needs flown across the uh, the river, he, they can help out with that. But you guys built a nice bridge. Mm. Um, uh, Mincy says, I have to learn the ways of your glitter warfare. I am super impressed. Our enemy shall tremble with fear. Ta -ta 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 -ta. <laughs> Her sword now is glittery, so every swing she takes so every like, swing. Like, <laughs> leaves a little trail of light and glitter. She's a glitter bee. She's a glitter bee. Oh. I'm proud to have known you, Honey Bell. Mm, I'm proud to have uh, been protected come by you, Mincy. Come visit the hive anytime. Yes, surely. I'm a sworn servant of the of the queen, but I'll always be a friend to you ponies. Thank you, Mincy. All right, she goes back to her hive. Aww. You befriended her. I befriended <laughs> Oh, that's a good pun, too. I'm never going to get tired of that. <laughs> I guess they only have bee puns today. All right, so you make it back to the center of Camp Evergleam where the broken piece of shard is still standing up. Uh, Mo Shimmer, um, Mule, and uh, all of our friends are now gathered around uh, gra gathered around the shard, including a bunch of uh, scared uh, junior junior ponies, which have also come to their camp. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Twitter time has gathered them together. I don't know where Twitter time went. Uh, Twitter time. And uh, got them and sees your ponies, ponies, ponies. He, he sees that you have something. Is that is that the shard? Yes. It's better wow. now. Mm -hmm. We improved it. We improved it a lot. Look how spikely we are. I think I think if we can get that shard put back together, we can rebalance our uh, friends here who's been who um, who've been impalant, uh, been imbalanced and deviated from the path of harmony Absolutely. and determine what's wrong with them. But the good news is it's an easy fix. Yeah. Wait. What's the fix? 
Let's see if, if we can get that, this shard to connect to the smaller one. That should rebalance harmony in the uh, surrounding area. Okay. Is it enough just to put it on? All right, you lift it up to the pedestal, and as you uh, as you approach it, it almost sucks it like a magnet. The harmony wants to bond, yeah. and as it, as it comes together, it uh, it clicks on, but it doesn't quite match. Everything's not quite balanced. You feel mm -hmm. like just to reach this element of harmony is going to take a little bit of harmony from each of you. So mm -hmm. let's go over our elements of harmony in our journey that we've had together. Does any pony remember a time when someone showed kindness? You yes. guys were super kind to the bees when you decided not to move their home. Definitely. How about generosity? Was anyone generous? Yes. Uh, when we offered to uh, include the bats in our collaboration. That was generous. How about laughter? Did anyone have a good time? Did anyone chuckle? Yeah. Yes. yeah. There were lots of good bee puns. Mm. There were Golly gosh, is a Golly wordsmith. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about loyalty? Was anyone a good friend on this journey? She kept me from falling in the river. That was that was really nice. And 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 these two helped save me from drowning. Yes. All right. What about honesty? Was there a time when you told your truth or you spoke honestly to benefit your friends? Yes. Um, when we spoke about Twitter time and um, how we should properly address him and his um, affiliation with his duty. Oh, I feel brilliant. like we were very honest about um, whether or not we said things wrong myself and then whether or not we said things right. And you were also honest with your bats and your other creatures that you encountered. Um, also, in the last element of harmony is magic, and the, the magic that we've had here today is the friendship that you've shared uh, through yourselves. So that one always manages to gather itself. Pretty and as magical. these elements of harmony focus together, the shard wraps around it, bursts out of its glitter, and another explosion of uh, disco glittering rain around the Camp Everbright, and focuses back together. Immediately, uh, pink bolts of uh, lightning kind of zip off in every direction. The shimmering field re-emerges, um, and Moshima and Mule come back to themselves. They shake their head. Po po you ponies, I can't believe what you have done. I can see from here that you, uh, you brought the shards back together, and you joined each other in harmony to do that. I am so impressed. Sashes for everybody. <gasps> they pull out sashes and just start giving to you. Oh, and you wow, know what? This is the a best a sash friendship ever. badge for you all as well. And what, who is the, you see a, a very contrite bat sort of walking up. He's like, um, I, I believe we were promised Twilight Crafts. <laughs> yes. Yes. This is our friend Spruce. Um, I think that it would be appropriate to also give him a sash because he helped us put this shard back together. You see, there's a problem in uh, Everbright, and it's that there's no nighttime. And so the bats, which are naturally nocturnal, aren't able to really live to their fullest, and they're not really able to eat or go out of their cave. And I think that it would um, be very inclusive if we would be able to work together to uh, make them feel at home here in Everbright. I see what you're saying, Honey Bell, and I'm glad you discovered that. Spruce, is that... Is that true? Is it about that about the speed of it? Yeah, the darkness, it makes it hard to find food. Twilight craft. <laughs> oh, and then they oh. want to do crafts with us. Yes. And and even though nighttime is, is real scary, I guess I'll just keep my lamp and they can have nighttime. And before it's nighttime, we can do crafts. I'm very proud of you for overcoming your, your fears, Light Bright. Friendship token. Yay. But I think that's something definitely doable. Just let me... Uh, uh, Mo Shima shakes their hair back and forward and uh, kind of eyeballs the, uh, um, the the shard, and then you can see it sort of dim to a to a uh, kind of a dim light. And then since it's nighttime out night um, outside now, this creates kind of a a faux twilight. And it's a good lesson for all of us not to be afraid of the dark. And maybe ever bright is not what it what not what we need all the time. A day, a night, and the in between. These are all important cycles for the creatures that we have in Equestria. You ponies have done pretty good. So if your bats would like to come, you can be honorary members of Camp Everbright Yay! for as long as you're willing to stay. Yeah, and sometimes. if you'd like to join us in our theme song, we will sing it together in our newfound friendship. One, two, three. Every pony, every pony, every pony is a friend.
Honest, kind, and strong of mind, and laughter loyal to the end. One more time. Every pony, every pony, every pony is a friend. Honest, kind, and strong of mind, and laughter loyal to the end. Right, thank you, every pony. That's what I've got here for you today. Yay. I hope you enjoyed our. Uh... I would like to camp with the bats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Are you are more than welcome to join us. <laughs> yes, I want to scream in the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> I will learn my bat wings. <laughs> thank you, Rob, for doing right. Thanks, Rob. You're welcome. Yeah. Every night is polished off by a, a group yeah. of five bats and one dream pony screaming from the top <laughs> next to the waterfall.